between you and me. Number three, inside the circle, to me, it looks like an R, okay? Um, number three, I have seven and I have an R. So I see a seven, okay, over here. And you could say it's a C or a C7. Uh, you can also say number one is at the top, right? Depending on how you want to look at this, what exactly is this? So now what I'm going to do to this, okay, is I'm going to do a little cutting out. I'm going to cut something out. Now, where should I start, right? Should I just bring it face to face? Let's just bring it face to face. We're going to copy and bring it face to face, back to back. This is what face to face looks like, right? Uh, actually, this is what face to face looks like, right here. Now it looks, um, I don't know, to me, I like to flip it upside down and uh, look at it this way. What do we have? What do we have here? I'm not too sure. It looks like two arms holding two balls, a body if I want, and then we have a head, right? That can go over here, right? See the way the head can come out over here? It can also look like the stand of the club, right? The beginning of the club. If I took a third one, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to splice it up, right? Let's, where do we splice it up from? Can I splice it up from here? No, that's, that's not good enough. Let's splice it from where? From this edge, do I splice it from here? I'm just gonna move it a little closer to start with. Okay, uh, now what do we have? I'm trying to look in the screen and see what I have. Could be a moose. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, what, do I, what do I do? What do I do? Can I move it a little bit closer? I'm gonna move it a little bit closer now. And, um, this is what I have when we move it closer. A stand, and over here would be the third, the reader that would go up here. We all know what happens when you take two R's and put them together. Do you know what happens when we take two R's and put them together? Um, let me see, do I have a pen? When we take two R's, right, and I'm going to put the R this way, right? Uh, I'm going to put that this way. And we get like a video, right? We get like a video. Can we see this over here? I want to see if my camera focus is not on. There we go. And we got an R and an R, one here, one there. It can look like a car. It can look like distance. Every time you do a triangle, it can look like distance. It can also be a river, but the center of the R can be a reel, like a set reel that comes off of here passes over here and comes into here and here's the reader right just give me a second i'm going to continue on with this one right these were the two r's now the question is do i put the r's back to back we end up with 88 right and then we have right the legs the stands on the r's we have a diamond we have 808 bicycle cards by putting R, 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 18, 18, 18, 18. Now, should we uh, actually separate it and do it the other way? Like by putting the R in front, um, and then here's the stand for the R. I'm just doing it every way I can. Again, I can put it backwards. I can put it forwards. Okay, if I had a computer that tells me what we actually find, because there's so many visuals in the world, right? What do we actually have over here? What what does this tell you? Is there is it electricity? Is it waterworks? Um, I'm I'm just thinking if I turn it this way, what do I have? I don't know. I have to think. Do we have two hourglasses? Do we have the deck of cards? Right, the deck of cards. You have uh, the eighth card, the nine card, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We'd have the center of the card, which would be right over here in the nine card. So this would be the half area. See, the half area is joined, right? We have to join the half area in cards. Here's another half area. 
So if it was the deck of cards, we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven areas to play stuff and seven areas to play stuff. And then we'd have the six, the six card, which would actually um, put your dot here, put your dot here, and put your dot here if it was the six card. Is that the way the six card works or the six card? Let me let me do it with a black marker. Would the six card be here, here, and here, 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 and here? And then the seven card, you would add this one in. And then the eight card, you would add this one in. If it was the nine card, it would be this one over here. But we're still talking about this. How close... How close, right? You see this marking here? It tells me I can move it that close. Let me see. I can, no, I missed. I have to move it that, there we go. That's how close I want to get it to where the two edges meet. And now it looks like the face of a person. So uh, we can either do it like that. I can keep it like this, but if I keep it like this, okay, um, let me work with this primary here. Let me cut this. Do I cut it here? Where do I actually splice these together? On the edge? Right over here. So we're going to copy. We're going to move this over, right? And then we're going to paste. And then we're going to turn it around. And we're going to put this right over here. Okay. And we've seen this design before, right? We've seen this design before. I don't know what it's going to be. I have no idea what it's going to be. But I do not have enough place on my computer and I want to put this all together what should I join it over here right cut off the stands putting it together how am I going to bolt this together do I bolt it at the bottom let's let's bolt it at the bottom um, we are going to first of all we're going to shrink it to about 60 percent so I have enough room on the page uh, okay and now we are going to copy it and paste then we're going to uh, flip this upside down and then join together in holy matrimony, right? Now, I'm not sure what that design does. I'm not sure if it's talking to each other. I'm not sure if this would end up being the Star of David, one here, one here. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to take it. We've put this together. We've put that together. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, crunch it. A little bit more I'm going to shove this all the way up here and I am going to copy it again and paste and I'm going to flip this upside down I will lose a part in view but now I'm going to put this here so my question is what is this does it become a chain does this become a chain is it two pieces that were put together to create something I don't know I don't know because I can't know everything all I can do is create situations for all of us to figure out. Raphael 7286 in a constellation of Pegasus. Building from nothing. Thank you for watching this video.